What's up guys, it's Sebastian here from Noble Frugal Studio, and today I'm gonna to show you how to rearrange and customize your UI in OpenTunes. We all got something we wanna protect, and if you keep it on your hard drive, then you know where I'm at, but what would happen if your storage somehow got disconnected? Windows telling you that something in your system has crashed, like what do I do? My files are gone, data removed. I wasn't careful, I had too much to lose. I got a deuce and a now better move. What if your boy could have data recovered? Files are right from the pits of the gutter. I could have all of my data restored and had a higher success for the numbers. I'm gonna let it run in a folder. Then I'm gonna grab the data and restore it. They don't need a piece of angry. Go to save me. Rescue all your data. We'll recover it today. I'm gonna let it run in a folder. Then I'm gonna grab the data and restore it. This should also work for Tahoma, but I'll show you the slight differences towards the end of the video, towards the end of my demonstration of how to do it in OpenTunes first. There's only a few slight differences. So the reason I'm making this tutorial is because sometimes my viewers and of course me as well have trouble with the main UI. So if I come over to this timeline room right here, this room is broken and I can't fix it. And I'm not gonna try to fix it because then my software is gonna crash and, um, I guess I'll just lose five minutes of my life. This room is absolutely broken. I don't exactly know how this happened. All I remember is that it happened and now we're here. But I recreated this the same room with the same sort of configuration and I renamed it Sketch. So I'm gonna teach you guys how to do that because I know I've been using OpenTunes for a long time and something like this isn't devastating to me. But for you newer users, I know that this can be really, really complicated, especially if you don't understand the program since it is very complicated. So I'm gonna get started teaching you guys how to customize your, your UI. So in case something like this happens, it won't be the end of the world. So we come to the basics tab and we're just gonna toss this out the window. We're probably gonna make something that looks a lot like this timeline or this sketch room because personally, I think this gives you the most drawing space. And also the basics tab has the vertical X sheet which most animation programs don't use. So I'm gonna make one with a horizontal egg sheet. So to make a new room, all we gotta do is hover over up here, click on a room, right click on a room and select new room. So we'll make a thing called room. I have a lot of rooms if you don't notice. I have more rooms than you guys have, if you're new to this. And then you'll get this blank window right here. So what we're first gonna do is we're gonna grab the top of this open tins window and minimize the window. We're not, we're gonna take it out of full screen. And this is because a lot of people have problems snapping the individual panels to each space in OpenTunes, and I'll show you what I mean later. A lot of people have a lot of trouble with that, and this way I'll be able to show you all how to do it, and it's guaranteed to work. So let's try it. But if it doesn't work, feel free to leave a comment. We're gonna go to Windows. First, we're gonna get a viewer. I would use the combo viewer normally, but I wanna customize where I put my tools, so we're just gonna use the viewer. Click the viewer, and we're just gonna appear somewhere on your desktop, and we're just gonna click and drag it until we see this red box outlining the OpenTunes main window, and we're gonna snap it in. Now, if that didn't happen, go to Windows, Workspace, and make sure that you uncheck lock room panes. We're, we wanna lock room panes after we're done. And we definitely want to make sure that we lock it after because when you don't lock when you don't lock your room panes, things can get crazy. Like in my favorite brushes video, things got crazy. So make sure you uncheck this when you're making a new workspace. All right, next we're gonna do our timeline. So we're gonna to go to Windows, Timeline. Just gonna drag this on the bottom. I like to make my frames really really small, so we're just gonna drag this sort of um, the slider on the bottom here. Make the frames kind of small. I like them to be the minimum size since I want to see the most frames possible. But you guys can do whatever you want. All right, so we need some color. Let's go to Windows, go to Style Editor right here. This is where we're going to get all our colors. If you come down to this bottom right icon right here, we can edit what the style editor will show. So I'm going to make sure that it's showing the wheel. That's important. And we want to make sure it's showing alpha. I work a lot with transparency. And the HSV is fine, but really the wheel and the alpha is what we need most, but I'll keep this here. You can have RGB as well, though. I don't think it's necessary. Now that we can edit colors, we need to have colors. So let's go down and get a palette. 
If you wanna have a bunch of default colors, if you're looking for inspiration or something like that, go to Windows, Studio Palette. You can put the Studio Palette anywhere just like a regular window. Then we can go to Global Palette. So Studio Palette will have its own palette box right here. So we have our palette box that's with our wheel up here, and we have the palette box that's for Studio Palettes. You can go to Global Palettes, go Basics just to get some basic colors. They have palettes for skin, which is kind of cool. Some maybe lip colors and lipstick and makeup colors. And we have variety, which is just a variety of colors. So I thought that'd be cool to show you guys. Um, you also have project palettes. I have a bunch of palettes for my personal projects. And if you want to learn how to make those, I'll link a video in the card. I don't need this though, so I'm going to get rid of it. All right, we're gonna, next we're going to go and get a level strip. I haven't taught you guys how to use a level strip or what it's used for, but in the future, you're going to want one. Windows level strip. Put this right here. This is just exactly what the timeline room was. So that's basically it for if you want to make a basic room. Hey, this is a uh, future Sebastian. When I was recording this, I completely forgot to add the toolbar and the tool option bar. So let's do that real quick. Minimize the window, windows, toolbar. I'm gonna put this all the way to the side. Actually, we gotta unlock things. See what happens when you don't do it all in one fell swoop? Unlock it. Let's put it all the way to the side so the red bar is across the entire window and not like halfway like this. Perfect, now we open it up. Our toolbar goes past everything and even past our timeline. And that's kind of what you want. You want to display all of your tools. Although most of my tools are hotkeyed. If I don't have a hotkey for a certain tool, I want to be able to just click it and then use it. Next, we need our tool option bar. Go to Windows, tool option bar and then we can just click and drag it all the way on top. You can make it all the way on top or just above the viewer. It's really up to you. Um, I'm gonna make it just above the viewer and test out, see how that works. Yeah, that's what I want. I recommend you make it just above the viewer, but you can do whatever you want, guys. So I think with that, now we're set. Back to the video. Let's go to Windows, Lock Room Panes, and we're all set. So now if we accidentally click and drag something, nothing's gonna happen, and that's what you want. Now that you know how to add rooms to your OpenTunes custom room, you can add any of the rooms that you want. For me, in my main room, I have the effect schematic here because when I'm working on Castle Dark, I'm usually drawing and then tweaking effects at the same time. So I have my effect schematic here as well. All right, now I'm gonna hop over to Tahoma 2D and show you just the slight differences there are in comparison to customizing a room in OpenTunes. Now we're in Tahoma 2D. I'm gonna show you guys how to make a custom room. The first thing that you wanna do is unlock your room panels, but there's no Windows tab up here, and in the Panels tab, you won't see a checkbox to unlock the panels. What you have to do is go up here to the top right next to the rooms and un unlock the rooms with that little icon. So this is locked, this is unlocked. Now we can click and drag our windows and place them wherever we want to. What it will also allow us to do is to create new rooms. So right click, on a room and hit new room. Now we have this blank room here. We can go on and do the same thing that we just did. Add a viewer, add a timeline. Probably should do this in a minimized window. You can add a palette and a style editor. And then to top it off, we can add the level strip cherry on top of the cake. And that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. I just thought it would be important to make this tutorial. So I hope it helped you guys. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below, but preferably, Join my Discord channel, because that way, if my answer to the question is hard to explain, I can just give you a screenshot, or you can share a screenshot of your screen. It'll just be so much easier to help you that way. With all that said, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.